Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art, and let's draw my version of the awesome Ghost Rider for Among Us. So here's my full pencil sketch shown in two speed, and then right after this, I'll show you guys how to draw this line by line with a sharpie.
All right, so let's draw this and here's my sketch underneath and hope you guys have been liking these little concepts I've been doing for the Among Us. All right, so for Ghost Rider, we're gonna draw in his eye shape first. Make it look nice and mean. Just draw a little angle like this, slightly short on this side. And then from here, I'm gonna bracket down. Okay, so this side's a little bit shorter. And now we're gonna come down here. You can make a little point. We'll connect that. And this side, again, it's gonna be a little bit longer. Okay, so that's gonna be the eye socket area. This is gonna be the center. Just come down for his nose. Just bracket it down and then just kind of close it off. Okay, so we kind of see it in uh, kind of like a three quarter view. So that's why this size is a little bit smaller. All right, once we have this, we're going to draw in the, the head shape. I'm going to start over here. I'm going to come all the way around to this side. So I just go up. That's going to be the peak right there. This part's a little bit tricky. Okay, so just come down right here. Once you have this, come to the center. Just come down, make a little point. Now we're going to draw in the collar. So we'll just connect this. And that should give us a slant. Continue this down here. We'll just connect that. And then now from here, we can draw in uh, the clothing. So I'm going to extend this line right here. That's going to be a collar and then hook it back. All right, so now I'm going to come down here. This curve. So we'll stop right here. I'm gonna join the bell first. So I'm gonna come in. Just come over here, leave a little bit of space right here. Just leave it in the center. And now from this area, I'm just gonna join the belt buckle. Just draw like a little egg shape. And then now to finish up the belt, I'm just gonna come down. Just draw a little bar all the way in right behind the belt buckle. All right, so let's continue down and finish up the legs first. Come down. On this side, stop a little bit shorter. Come to the center of this, right here, you can make a little point. And then from here, I'm just gonna draw a slant, going down and this one's gonna go up. All right. And then from this line right here, now we can draw in the legs from this corner, just come down. And then right here, same thing here, just come down, just match up to this line. So that's gonna give us a leg and then to finish up the foot, come down, the side go out a little bit more and then just close it off. Okay, come down, go out. All right, so that's the shape of the legs. And let's come back up here and finish up the, all, all the uh, cool little details. So to finish up the, uh, the collar right here, from the center, just gonna draw two little curves coming down and then just go up. Okay, and then from the center, come across, come down, and then two buttons right here. And we can add in just a little bit of a detail on the belt buckle right there. All right, and then for the, uh, let's give them these high boots right here. Adding the spikes on the side. And then one more spike here coming toward us. So it's just gonna be a circle we're gonna add a little dot for the tip. All right, and we can even add in the little pocket. Just one little curve, and this side's gonna be a little bit smaller. All right, so now let's draw in his hands, and let's draw in this one first. So I'm just gonna come out. Let's draw one line like that first. Come down, just kind of pinch it in. This is gonna be the wrist. 
And then for the thumb right here, just one hook. Just come down for the back of the fist. And then I'm just gonna round it out. Just tuck it up right behind the uh, thumb right there. Okay, and the same thing here, let's add in some spikes. Make it look nice and mean. Same thing here, circle and then one dot. Okay, so one more and this one's gonna be holding the chain, so it's gonna be slightly different. Just come out here. Let's draw like a little curve like this first. On the inside, let's draw two curves. That's gonna be his fingers, and then for the thumb, just wrap it around. Continue this, this is gonna be a back of the hand. And I'm just gonna stop there first because now we have to draw in the chain. All right, and then for the chain, just draw one segment like this first. And then on this side, just draw a little, almost like a full circle. And then draw on the outside one. All right, so those are two links. And then now we can finish up the uh, hand right here. So I'm just gonna continue this curve. Just tuck it right behind that. And then to finish up the, I guess the arm area, just draw one smooth curve like this. Okay, so let's continue the chain on, the, uh, on this side here. Again, same thing, just one little link. And then I'm gonna skip a little bit of space right here. All right, so this one just floating out there, so we're gonna connect them. Let's draw a little curve going this way. And then again, on the outside. All right, and then one more right here. So this one's gonna be at the end, so we'll just continue with the curve, and then let's draw the outside one. All right, so that's the full body, and now let's add in the flames. So for the flame, let's start on the side right here. And it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Just draw a little curve like this, almost like a little S curve. And then on the top, it's gonna be nice and sharp. All right, so once you have this one, let's draw another one. Almost like a little curve like this, almost exactly the same. Just kind of vary a little bit. And then just come down, again, nice and sharp on the top. So now that we have two on this side, let's go ahead and draw some on this side. Little curve, nice and sharp on the top. Okay, let's come up here. Let's draw in the big one right in the center first. Go all the way up. Come down here. And then now that we have the center one, we're just gonna fill in the spaces in between. So let's draw one more here. And then on this side, let's go this way. Let's go out. Come back down. Nice smooth curve and let's just go ahead and connect that. All right, and then for the little uh, loose flames, it's almost a little leaf shapes. Just to add some more detail. All right, so that is it for uh, my version of Ghost Rider for Among Us. Hope you guys liked the way it turned out. And if you do, please check out my other videos. Don't forget about my website for this coloring page. And I will see you next time.